Hey everyone, I'm super excited about our math for this week. So you should have a packet. It's a pretty thick packet and it looks like this and it says math mystery. Case of the B bandits. So this is a mystery that we're going to solve. We're going to work on this math all week together to solve this mystery of the B bandits. So let me start by reading this to you. So get a little bit comfy and, and just listen carefully. Spring has finally sprung in Man in oh in Manhattan. <laughs> the birds are chirping. It's growing warmer, except the bees are not buzzing. Upon the mayor's announcement this morning, the whole town is now aware that all of the bees in Manhattan are missing. At this instant, everyone is concerned for what could happen this spring if there are no bees to pollinate the flowers. Bees play an extremely important role in the early stages of food production. Remember we learned about that last year, how we need pollinators? Without any bees, pollination cannot occur. Pollination is when the bees turn flowers into fruit and vegetables. Consequently, if there is no pollination, then there will be no fruit and vegetables growing this spring. Farmers, grocers, and gardeners are worried. You can view some of the latest tweet notifications below. And then it shows that these are things that people were worried about that they tweeted. That means they put messages on the computer for other people to read. Farmer Furrow said this. Farmer Furrow said, the bees vanished. No fruit or vegetables growing this spring. I won't be able to feed my family or animals. There will eventually be a major food shortage in this town if the mystery is not solved. Gail the grocer said, be disaster. I'll have nothing to sell. My store will need to be shut down. Supporting my family is going to be difficult. Mary Contrary said, oh no, how will my garden grow? Oh, that's true, isn't it? Without the bees, all those things would be hard. Patrick, the mayor of Manhattan, delivered the following short speech at Manhattan's town triangle an hour ago. It is not a very pleasant morning here in Manhattan today. The disappearance of the bees is an extremely serious situation. One that can cause detrimental changes upon our island. Scientists a moment ago advised me that this is not some strange phenomenon. Instead, it's indeed an act of a crime. Field researchers managed to uncover some evidence which suggests that the bees were captured. It was undoubtedly not a job achieved by one criminal. These bee bandits need to be found and arrested for this terrible crime. We rely heavily on bees to carry out their important job of pollination. The whole island of Manhattan will experience a very gloomy spring if this mystery is not solved soon. And then down here it says, Math detectives needed to find the bee bandits. And we are going to be those math detectives. Are you ready for this? Yeah, ready to be a math detective and solve the case of the bee bandits? Okay. The police and environmental scientists created a suspect list of groups who may have taken all of the bee bandits. However, they urgently need a great math detective on the case to solve which gang is behind the crime of the season. Okay, that's the first page. This page shows all the different groups that they suspect maybe might have stolen the bees. And I won't read all of it right now, but I'll just read you some of it. And we'll end up eliminating these groups as we learn clues about them. The first one is the wolf pack. The second one is the hangry hobgoblins the honeypot bears, the fuzzy toothed blobs, the pickpocketing pirates, the wacky scientists, oh my goodness, the copper cats, the googly eyes, the sleepy nights. Okay, so you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try and figure out which of these groups stole the bees. And we'll do that by getting clues. 
Okay, so this is clue number one that we'll work on today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our first clue together. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Here we go, and we'll look at this together. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's very unfocused there. That's a little bit better. Okay, comparing numbers, clue number one. Okay, now what it, this is what it tells us to do. It says, discover an important clue by circling the largest number in each box. Use the number that you circled to match and place the letters in the boxes to reveal the clue. Put the letter in every box that matches your answer. There may be more than one. The first one has been done for you. So see here, they circled the largest number. Okay, so two, one, and seven. Seven was the largest, the biggest, so they circled it. And then anywhere up here where there's a seven, they put this letter, which is I, okay? So you can see that there were two places to put in, or three places to put an I, okay? So when you're finished, this will spell out a clue for you, okay? And that clue will help you figure out some of these, um, <clears throat> these, group, some of these possible bandits that you can eliminate. Okay, so it'll be a clue and it'll give you a hint and then you can cross off some of these. And if you, um, I don't want to give away the clue now because I want you to be able to do the work. If you come to our Zoom meeting today, I'll be able to help you um, at the end after we figure out what the clue is, we'll look at the um, bandits together and figure out which ones we can cross off. Okay, so go ahead and work on this circle each of the biggest numbers and then fill in your letters up here that match. So let's do maybe one more together. So nine, seven, and three, which is the biggest. Okay, it's nine. So anywhere we see a nine, we're going to put what letter? An R. Let's see. Looking for a nine. And just a plain nine, not a nine like with another number. Up, oh, here's one right there. So we put an R right there. Okay. And you'll do that for each of these boxes, and this will give you a clue. Okay. So go ahead and work on that. If you want to uh, come to our Zoom, we can go through the, um, the clue and the bandits together at the end. Okay. All right, go ahead and have fun. This is going to be a really fun week of math. All right, see you later.